Today we are going to learn how to multiply by setting up the multiplication problem in columns. Here is a multiplication problem. We will multiply 143 by 2. To find the result of this multiplication problem, we will learn together how to set it up in columns. First, remember to use a paper with large squares to place each number in a square. It helps you to organize your calculation. To start, we will write 143 at the top, and since 2 is the 1's digit, so we must place it below 3 in the 1's place. Then we can write the multiplication sign to the left, and draw the answer line below, which separates the calculation from the result. And here is our multiplication problem set it up. As an addition or subtraction, we will start with the 1's digit. We have 3 times 2. 3 times 2 equals 6, so we will write 6 in the answer box in the 1's place column. Now we are going to multiply 2 by the 10th digit, which is 4. 2 times 4 equals 8. Similarly, we will write 8 in the answer box in the 10th place column. Finally, we will move to the 100th place. We will multiply 2 by the 100th digit, which is 1. 2 times 1 equals 2. Then we will write 2 in the answer box in the 100th place. So 143 times 2 equals 286. And this is the final answer. So our multiplication problem is finished. Here is another multiplication problem. We will multiply 215 by 4. To find the result or the product, we are going to set up the numbers in columns. To start multiplying, we will write 215 at the top, then place 4 at the bottom. Since 4 is the 1, so we must place it below the 5 ones in the 1's place. As we learned, we start with the 1's. We have 5 times 4. 5 times 4 equals 20. The number 20 is made up of 2 10's and 0 1's. So we will write 0 in the 1's place of the answer box, but 2 will be carried up to the top of the 10's place column. Now we will multiply 4 by the 10's digit which is 1. 4 times 1 equals 4. Then we should add the carry which is 2 to the answer that we just got which is 4. 4 plus 2 equals 6. And don't forget to cross the carry in order not to use it again. Similarly, we will write 6 in the 10th place in the answer box. Finally, we will move to the 100th place column. We will multiply 4 by the 100th digit which is 2. 4 times 2 equals 8. Then we will write 8 in the 100th place column in the answer box. So. 215 times 4 equals 860. Let's take another multiplication problem. We will multiply 168 by 3. To find the product, we are going to set up this problem in column. First, we will write 168 at the top. Then we will place 3 ones below the 8 ones in the ones place. We will start with the ones of place. 8 times 3 equals 24. The number 24 is made up of 2 tens and 4 ones. We will write 4 in the ones of place column in the answer box. And we will carry 2 to the top of the tens of place. Now we will multiply 3 by the tens digit which is 6. 3 times 6 equals 18. Then add the carry which is 2. It gives us 20. And don't forget to cross the carry in order not to use it again. Similarly, we will write 0 in the tens of place in the answer box, and we will carry 2 over the hundreds place. Now we will multiply 3 by the hundreds digit which is 1. 3 times 1 equals 3. Then add the 2 that we carried, it gives us 5 and don't forget to cross the carry. Then we will write 5 in the hundreds place in the answer box. So, 168 times 3 equals 504. And our multiplication problem is done.